All right, what's going on YouTube? This is the third attempt on casting the gingery bed for the lathe. Uh, the first two times I was using a different pattern setup. I had that little pattern plate over there. Didn't work out very well, so I went and made a different pattern. Now, instead of doing it the traditional gingery way, I'm using sand cores. Um, this is, I think, a little bit easier because you don't have to do quite as much woodworking. You can just take a piece of wood and chop it off at a couple angles and you're good to go. So this was attempt number one. Uh, one of my cores actually floated up underneath or on top of the aluminum inside of the mold, blocked off the flow of metal. You can see this core right here is where that happened. So this may have been a decent bed had that not happened. This was attempt number two, where my core box had broken in the middle of making the mold, but the furnace was already running and I had more aluminum in there than I had room in my ingot tray, so I kind of had to pour it anyways. This one I think would have turned out decent had the core box not broken, but this is what's referred to as a short pour, where you don't have enough metal to fill the mold. So right now I'm just waiting for the furnace to finish heating up the aluminum and then we're going to pour it into the mold here and hopefully we'll have a decent bed. Well, here we are. It's about two minutes until the aluminum's all melted down in there. Right now I've got about five inches deep of aluminum inside of that six inch crucible. So I'd have to do some math to figure it out, but I'm going to guess about six or seven pounds, maybe a little bit more. Hopefully that's enough to fill the mold. I'm really hoping it will be, but I don't have enough fuel to add any more aluminum to the crucible. So I'm going to get the tripod set up here and we're going to try and pour this thing. Hopefully it turns out. Well, here goes. Aluminum melted. I'm going to go shut the furnace off, bring in the crucible, and we're going to try and pour this. Got my fingers crossed. I hope it works. Crucible's a little bit more than half full right now and it gets a little bit heavy holding it at arm's length like this. Well it seems to be taking all the metal, that's good. Oh man, that's good, that's what I like to see. I only have about that much left in there, so. Looks like I melted just right enough. Actually, I had about two ingots worth of aluminum left over at the end, so. I didn't put a pressure feed on here. I probably should have because I might have some shrinkage on the top, but I'm sick of trying to remake this thing, so I'm gonna let this cool off. We'll shake it out, and however it looks, I'm gonna run with it. All right, so I opened up the mold for the base or the bed, I'm sorry. I'm excited. It looks like the mold filled up completely, which is very good, that's what I like to see. So I figured you guys might want to take a look at it. Watch this with me as I take it out of the mold and break some of the sand off. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver here, get my gloves on. It's been about 20 minutes since I poured it. And we're gonna take this beast out. It's going to be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you guys whether or not this actually turned out. About a hundred things that could have gone wrong. Core could have shifted. Uh, metal might have shrunk a little bit on the top. Sides are solid. Let's try popping one of these cores out of here. Alright, that's boring. There we go. Oh, wow. All right, I am 
impressed. I'm very happy right now. Looks like the bed came out pretty well. I'll have to pop the rest of the cores out of here just to be sure, but this is still very hot too. Like I said, it's been about 15 minutes. So there's the top. There's a little bit of pinning. This side looks like the sand cracked a little bit, but I'm not too concerned with that. Ends look good. I would say this was a success. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the sand out of there, try and clean it up a little bit, and then I'll snap some pictures. Uh, check the website, younggunmetalcasting.com. Watch me build the rest of this lathe. And happy melting.